It's a day this train enthusiast has been waiting for almost his whole life. It's, yeah, extremely excited since obviously we've, we've been around with the same types of trains for the whole time that we've, but I've been an enthusiast since I was born. Those putting the new C-Series fleet together also sharing the excitement. It's very meaningful for the team what is being done, building rail cars in Western Australia by Western Australians. You get to see um, a train that's out that you see every day, everyone sees every day, and you're proud of that. This is one of 41 new trains that will join Perth's rail network over the next decade. The state government says it's made from at least 50% local materials and marks a major milestone in its commitment to bring rail car manufacturing back to WA. Despite concerns over Metronet's cost blowouts and delays, it looks nice and spacious inside. The government insists this $1.3 billion investment will have a lasting impact on the state's local manufacturing capability. I think having the capacity to train Western Australians and also make rail cars here in WA again will help train young people into the future. However, some economists aren't so sure. The government has a very chequered history in the past of um, choosing what industries are going to be successful and what aren't. And going on past track record, there's a very high chance that we'll be paying an awful lot of money for something that we could have actually got cheaper somewhere else. Professor Dockery would prefer to see the government prioritise sectors like health and education. What the government really should be focusing on is not creating new jobs, but making sure jobs are going to the most high value added sectors. The first C-Series train will begin taking passengers on the Joondalup and Mandra lines from Monday, with the rest of the fleet set to join the tracks by 2029. Tabarak Al-Jarud, ABC News.